Eastern Shore daycare provider who killed a nine-month-old boy in her care was back in court today, hoping to get her conviction thrown out. Gail Dobson's attorneys say she wasn't properly defended during her original trial. ABC2 News investigators uncovered Dobson's case last year, showing you how the state gave her the option to continue watching children after that baby boy was killed. Trevor Ulrich only lived for nine months. He died in 2009, two days after his mother started taking him to daycare. It's a nightmare Trevor's family can't escape. Well, it's just hard on the whole family. My daughter has been through uh, four years of, you know, pure hell, uh, reliving uh, the death, you know, of a nine month old son. And you just can't. <sighs> It's just hard to put into words. It's, it's, I wouldn't want to wish this on my worst enemy to go through this. It's uh, unbelievable pain. Trevor's family was back in court today trying to keep his killer behind bars. Gail Dobson is serving a 30 year sentence for second degree murder and child abuse. It's a conviction her attorneys say should be overturned. Gail Dobson's trial attorney was ineffective. He was, his performance was deficient and that deficiency uh, resulted in an unfair trial to Gail Dobson. But prosecutors say the defense did call an expert witness and Dobson's conviction should stand. The doctors are credible, reliable, the methods that they use. We, when we prepare a case like this, we spend a lot of time trying to, to educate ourselves as to the science. Dobson also appealed her verdict, but that appeal was denied. No timetable has been set for a ruling in this post-conviction hearing. The judge says he'll hand down a decision as soon as possible.